Students, let's learn about a new chapter called the four realms of the earth. Now let's see what are the major domains of the earth. So earth is the only planet where life exists. And this is the unique and exclusive feature which is not present on any other planets. So what are the three main components of the earth which makes this existence of life possible? They are water, air and soil. So life exists only where these three components interact with each other. So this planet earth consists of four major subsystems. They are known as domains or realms. So these four subsystems are known as domains or realms. And what are the names of these four subsystems? They are lithosphere that is land, hydrosphere that means water, atmosphere means air and biosphere. Biosphere means the part of the earth where life is found. Now let's study in detail about these four domains of the earth. What is lithosphere? The solid portion of the earth is known as the lithosphere. That means the land part of the earth is known as lithosphere. And what is the lithosphere composes the rocks of the earth's crust. Inside the earth we have many layers, right? So inside the earth we have crust. So the earth's crust is made up of totally rocks and also thin layers of soil. This soil is a habitat for many living organisms. And these living organisms make the soil nutrient rich. So this lithosphere is comprises of rocks, crust, rocks of the earth's crust and layers of the soil. And there are mainly two major divisions of the earth's surface. The large land part of the earth is known as continent and huge water bodies are known as the ocean basin. So in this image students, this is the ocean crust and this is the volcanic arc and this is totally the land part. Inside the earth there is earth's crust which is made up of rocks and then there is also soil all over it. So this is totally the lithosphere. Let's see the land part of the earth which is covered by continent. There are seven major continents in our world which are separated from each other with the presence of large water bodies. So what are the names of these seven continents? Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. In this image we can see the seven continents Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, Antarctica, South America and North America. Let's study in detail about these seven continents. The first one is Asia. Asia is the largest continent out of all the seven continents and it covers one third of the total land area of the earth. It is the biggest continent. Asia lies in the eastern hemisphere in the world. Tropic of Cancer passes through the Asian continent. And Asia is separated from the Europe continent with the presence of mountains known as Ural Mountains on the west side. So in this image we see Ural Mountains separating Asia from the Europe. Next continent is Europe. Europe is smaller than Asia in, when compared to size wise. And this continent lies west of the Asia. An arctic circle passes through this continent and it is surrounded by water bodies on all the three sides. This image shows us the Europe continent. Other than this side 1, 2 and 3. It is surrounded on three sides by water. Next let's see about the African continent. This is the image of African continent where there are many countries, more of the desert area and it is also surrounded by water. And there is Indian Ocean below it completely. And there are many mountains also in this continent. And Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. So comparing size wise, it is the second largest continent in the world after Asia. And here the equator runs to the middle of the continent. That means zero degrees latitude runs almost through the middle of this continent. This African continent lies in both western hemisphere as well as the eastern hemisphere. My major portion lies in the eastern hemisphere and the minor part lies in the western hemisphere. This African continent is separated from the Europe with the presence of a sea in the northern side. That sea is known as Mediterranean Sea. And on the west side it is separated by Atlantic Ocean. 
and Red Sea and Indian Ocean lies in the east of the African continent. Three sides, it is separated by the water. It is surrounded by water on the three sides. And Africa is usually a hotter continent where more of summer will be there. So, Sahara Desert, which is the world's largest and hottest desert, this is located in the Africa. And this continent is also bounded on all sides by oceans as well as the seas. And the major river which is flowing in the African continent is Nile River. In this image students we see Nile River flowing in Africa. And this is the largest and hottest desert in the world which is known as the Sahara Desert. Next continent is North America. North America is world's third largest continent after Africa. It is located in northern and western hemisphere. And it is also surrounded by water. How is it surrounded by water? Let's see. In the west, it is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean. In the east, it is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. And in the north, it is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean. And a river known as Mississippi River, it is the longest flowing river in the North America. So this is the Mississippi River, which is the longest flowing river in the North America. And this is the map of the Northern American continent. Next, moving on to South America continent. South America continent is located in the Western Hemisphere. And this continent is surrounded by Pacific Ocean in the West and in the South. This continent is located in the South of the Northern America. So on the South side of the Northern America is South America present. This South America is surrounded by Pacific Ocean in the West and Atlantic Ocean in the East. And in the Eastern part of South America, we have Brazilian Highlands. And the major river which flows in the South America is Amazon River which is the second largest river in the world. This is the image of Amazon River flowing and this is the map of South America continent. The next continent is Antarctica. Antarctica is located in the southernmost part of the world. So this is the southernmost continent of the world and it is surrounded by Southern Ocean. And this continent is also coldest, windiest and the driest continent. 98% of this continent is covered with ice only. The temperature is always in the minus degrees. It is always colder over there. The South Pole is located in the Antarctica and this image so shows us the Antarctica map. Next, let's learn about the hydrosphere. Hydrosphere means that part of the earth which is covered by water. And earth is almost covered by 71% water and 29% land. So, hydrosphere means water. But in what forms? Water in all the forms. Such as running water in the oceans, rivers and lakes. As well as ice in the glaciers and underground water and as well as water vapor in the atmosphere. All these things comprise hydrosphere. The earth is composed of 71% by water and 29% by land. And out of this totally present water, the 97% of the earth's water is present in the oceans and seas. And definitely this ocean water is very salty, right? It is not suitable for drinking. So, very little water is available for drinking purpose. So, a large portion of rest of the water is in the form of ice sheets, glaciers or under the ground. So, that is the reason very small percentage of water is left for fresh water, for drinking, for human use. Next, let's see about the oceans of the world. Oceans cover up the 71% of the earth's surface. Water cover up the 71% of the earth's surface. And there are five major oceans in the world. They are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean. Now let's see in detail about these five types of oceans. Pacific Ocean is the largest of the five oceans of the world. It is located between Southern Ocean, Asia, Australia, North and South America and this Pacific Ocean is circular in shape and the coastline extends up to 1,35,663 kilometers and also Pacific Ocean is the deepest ocean and this depth of the ocean is almost 4,030 meters. So this is the Pacific Ocean which is surrounded by Asia, North America, South America and Australia. Next comes the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world after the Pacific Ocean. And it is located between Africa, Europe, Southern Ocean and the Western Hemisphere. So it is surrounded by Africa, Europe 
southern and the western hemisphere and the length of the coastline of this atlantic ocean is 111866 km and the shape of the atlantic ocean resembles somewhat the alphabet s atlantic ocean is definitely smaller than the pacific ocean but in the number of ports and harbors it is larger than the pacific ocean and this atlantic ocean is the busiest ocean in terms of trade and it has lots of ports and harbors and it supports the business trade in total world very widely so this is the atlantic ocean this is the map of the atlantic ocean it is surrounded by africa southern ocean and europe also next is the indian ocean indian ocean is the third largest ocean in the world after the pacific and atlantic ocean and it is located between africa southern ocean asia and australia and this ocean is triangular in shape next let's see about the arctic ocean arctic ocean is the smallest ocean in the world it is located in the arctic circle and it is surrounded around the north pole This Arctic Ocean is connected to the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of small water body known as Bering Strait and this Arctic Ocean most of the times it remains frozen due to cold and temperatures Next is Southern Ocean this is also known as Antarctic Ocean it is found between 60 degrees south latitude and Antarctica